Well, time for recess. Good, I want to go play the slide. Not that kind of recess, you dumbass. If you did that in a courtroom recess, you'd be the ultimate asshole, and people would get you out of that courtroom. And anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Justice for All. This is your host, the MJ 406 And, well, we got a recess after proving that Maggie's uh, lover, the victim, could not have written his her name in there. Especially, he says it was written wrong anyway. So, let's keep going. A amnesia? I can't believe my lawyer's trying to defend me in such a state. Oh, and I guess we finally told her that I had amnesia. Because I got whacked to the head by some douchebag who came around the corner. I... Um, Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what, I know what to do. Or you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need. Ah, no, 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 no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on. I, I'm sorry. When I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, I had one problem you won't be tackling today, thank you very much. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. I appreciate your continued enthusiasm and cheeriness. You're a very optimistic girl, thank you for that. Well, maybe. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So, my name is Phoenix Wright? What a weird name. Hmm, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe you'll help. Hmm? This is a business card? I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? I might need it again. Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. I see. Can I call myself? No, don't do that. <laughs> I guess for now we should stop talking about me. Let's we'll start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the incident with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Oh, or if it's then uh, tell me. This might be very important. Please. Okay, Roger. So, there's something on the cell phone. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. With that ringtone. Hey, you found my cell phone. I was wondering where that was that day. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I'm in search of my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. Wake me up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You didn't call me Maggie. Ah, something I think I'm connecting here. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Hmm. So where's the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it that phone in my pocket? You mean this? You think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but my eyes lit up. Ah! You were here all along! Oh god, who is that? You're so mean! Oh, it's you! Wait, who are you again? I called you a million times and you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to the check in the courtroom, everyone had already left! My bad! Ah! Uh, no! Who the heck is this? Let me guess. I was supposed to know this girl too. Hey, good morning, Maggie! Uh-oh. And a good morning to you, too, Maya. This is one weird chick. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right, it's my head to the rescue of the ultimate assignment of super, super important evidence. Here you are, Nick, the thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. What the heck is this, a list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... It's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Ah. Good thing you got that uncovered. 
So that weird cell phone came a group of con artists. Thank you, Maya. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me! Hmm. And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday! Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found! Hmm, so that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick! I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you! Hmm... Um, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright! Recess is now over! Please bring the defendant to return to the courtroom immediately! Oh, oops! Guess you have to get going! We can talk about you being old later, Nick! What the hell? But wish us luck! I guess I have all the pieces for now. More or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't! Come on, Nick! Better get a move on! Y yeah I guess you're my secretary? <laughs> ah, assistant Maya Faye. You're as brighting and strange a character as always. Now we have our true girl back. Let's get going. Call her number you can bring. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. Before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. The ask that the court might be a little lenient on... No, there's no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. We'll deal with whatever bullshit we have through these people. Y yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness a drifter who is taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. A drifter? That douchebag! I knew it. Please say your name for the court, witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, uh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps that's a drifter who is taking a walk? D did I? Uh-oh. But I will not stand for that. Now you've tended the court's eyes and called me wrongly. Sure, I was supposed to call the university soon, but I'll be able to do it. I'll give you the justice of a little bit. Everything in the life is almost the highest topic I can call you. I'm going to be able to talk about the people in the university. You see, I've run this life in the process of my walk as... Yes, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more careful from now on. Oh, he's a, uh, quote-unquote intellectual. Ooh, so dangerous. But what is he? A human chatterbox? Ugh, I have to question him. Ugh. Fashion cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need apply. Glasses? But you're not wearing glasses. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind as well. That's enough. Your name, witness. And what do we got to get an actual name here? Oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You want people on your dirty tricks? You thought you had me, but you had thought wrong. I'm sorry! It won't happen again! Oh man! I forgive you, alright? I suppose I can tell you my name. I'm Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso with a PhD in drifting, as it were. Damn, dude! You must be one hell of a driver! If you want to, you can call me a university student in transit. Pre-university, huh? My god, he is full of himself! A true douchebag through and through. Ahem! Mr. Wellington! On the day of the murder, you were taking a, er, strolling through the park, correct? Yeah, he corrected himself. It appears that you are attached to that word. You must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy, out on a walk with mommy. You must know I am... Anyway! We just find this car what you saw during a walk through the park! See, you said it again. Take a walk. You know you... Shut the fuck up! What you witness will do, Mr. Wellington! Thank you, Judge. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this! Can't I just have a straightforward trial for once in my life? God damn it! Are you done? Yes! Go! Please! Testify! I was in the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls through above, right in front of my eyes. With that thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Charming, huh? You have the time to say that right now? Of course I remember her sweet face. It was that of a pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. Hmm. I don't know if she saw you, though. Hmm. That was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? 
Yeah. That's all you have to say? How do you mean so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client. You mean Maggie? Yes. And if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. Damn straight. There are no questions the witness, Mr. Wright, and please don't get sidetracked for the love of God. I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. You master crafter of lies! I shall reveal you for the snake you are! Let's see. So let me see, what could I go over that is a big piece? You met the young lady. She was a pretty defendant. The only thing I saw was the banana! There are bananas? Bananas? The banana? Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. Now, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? I don't freaking know. And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. It's really strange. I ain't never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick. He's gotta be lying about the bananas. Hmm, he could be, but... There's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at the crime scene. And what if it's not a lie? Well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else? Hmm, the Mews took something else for a bunch of bananas, and that would be an inaccuracy. Think, Phoenix, think! If my client is innocent, there is no way he could have seen what he says he did. Which means if we could somehow show he's lying! Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. She's right, she's got a sharp mind, but I just wish I could remember who she is. Is everything okay, Nick? Sorry, I'm not eyeing you up, I swear! I swear, don't worry, it's not like that. So, bananas, huh? I wonder. Objection. You hungry? I can give you this rubber banana, this rubber set of them if you want. Or is it leather? Anyway, Mr. Wellington. I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Gimme! Ah, uh, so you knew about the bananas too. I need you to say so with you. Yeah, take a closer look at them, you moron. I don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. M Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? What? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? <laughs> Damn it! He said it after I said Damn it! I, I had a feeling. It's... That's it's the... It's a no! Oh my god, don't choke yourself, dude. Calm down. Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. The, this witness loves bananas. Hmm. I mean, most people know what it is from sight, but... He did say he likes glasses, but by the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How... What, you... Why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Oh, come on. Your Honor, it's very simple to mistake a club for a bunch of bananas. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled, even if it is really yellow. Yeah, you, you're one of those people, yes. You know what I mean. You're like those people who refuse to count to, you use the Oh my god, shut up. Here in the end, we find out the back of glowing up it is. However, we feel from hard and I think this is out, oh, don't you? Shut up, I get it. And that is why I ask you how bad your eyesight is. They're, they're about 2200. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um... That's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was paying on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, the glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Like! I guess not. How about it, witness? You are an unrelenting evil man. The like, people who rejected Joan of Arc and Jesus' brave grace only because my horrible racist people, which he didn't do anything while she was so the I, I know about Joan of Arc, shut up! Which boils down to you... To down to you, we're not wearing glasses, wearing your glasses at that time. God damn, you got me jumbled up. Thanks, asshole. <clears throat> Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. Damn straight. But the height difference was only nine feet. It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. Ah, uh, it's stretching it. Hmm. Witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. That's right, now your high college st student in transit status will not help you here. 
The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. Huh, wow, that sounds a little late. They must have a lot of free time on their hands if they showed up within 10 minutes. Jeez. Hmm, so the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is the murderer! Hmm... You may question the winners now, Mr. Wright! Oh, this is gonna be fun! Oh, goody, goody, goody! I can't wait to put you up! Clap you in irons, buddy! So she ran away, you said? I don't know... Hold it. This is a... that sounded a little late. How do you know what time it was? The detective told me, you know which one I mean. The one in the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school. Hey, bro, I graduated from pretty good, I mean, top-ranked college! <laughs> pretty good. I don't believe this. It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken what time I called. Hmm. And if I'm wrong, then that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why are you? You're just a lousy kid who... I think a car can see your point. Anyway, how do the police respond? I want to clap him in irons! Please do. You see, now this is like 17 minutes after the crime happened. That's why I'm suspicious. So, let me do this. Just to make sure. I cover my bases. Immediately? As in... As in immediately. I mean, sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but... That's the duty of every good citizen, or do they not teach that at your pitiful school? You think people learn about how to call the police at college?! Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court record for a sec. Wait, what? Yeah. Because... Objection. There's something about the big gap in time between then and, well, the murder and the actual call. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the Baker's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15-minute gap here! Do you deny it? Ah! I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during the fi this 15-minute gap. Ah! Come on, man! The police were the jug at the time of witnessing a terrible murder! It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed! Objection. 15 minutes though seems like a long time to be dazed after a murder. But the answer is hardly what I would call a little dazed exactly my point. Ah! You didn't realize that until I just said it. Mr. Wellington? Y yes? Explain yourself! What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Uh. Ah, here we go. Answer the question! Oh, he's gonna nervous. I, uh, telephone, er, uh, I mean, spit it out! I, I was in for a phone booth! A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? Hmm. You and your questions. As if you're trying to open all the layers of a matrioska doll. You think you're really something special? I think it's a Russian doll, by the way, for those of you who don't know what that means. Witness! I, I lost my cell phone! There! Are you happy? Hmm. You lost it? What a coincidence! Unbelievable! You lose your glasses and your cell phone! You must be very scattered when it comes to your belongings! What? Are you saying the first way people are never allowed to lose things? Have you ever heard of all oh, Jesus and straight quirk and demons so that I rest all my own quirk? Jesus, I don't think it's able to play people like you just can't understand. Oh my god! Enough! Oh man, oh man. Wait. Hold on a second, he lost his cell phone? Nick, that cell phone! Could it be? You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? I mean. I have the question further if I have a lead, right? Why not? Mr. Wellington, where is your cell phone right now? Oh, now you've recollected your calm demeanor, huh? Heh, <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll have you know. See? Here is here is it. I think you meant to say here it is, but I see. Hmm, looks like he's got his phone. I thought that just maybe this was his. Hmm. I wonder about that. Well, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by his search for a phone booth. 
took him 15 minutes to find one, though. Ah, I could buy it, I guess. Well, that's a gist of it. I guess you could put it that way and leave it at that. You know any further questions, Mr. Wright? I mean... I gotta keep going or she's gonna be found guilty. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! Oh, I think I get it now. You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, uh, of course. Miss Evans should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof then. Please accept proof that the witness had no reason to search for a public phone booth. Hmm. She had a phone! It's very simple. This is the evidence that packs up my claim. And you're going to preserve this court with an obtuse, meaningless item. Huh? It's obtuse and meaningless? I don't get you at all, Nick. Why do you think he wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, hey, he really didn't have to look for a phone. I just preserved the phone! Then why don't you hurry up and present that piece of evidence? I did! Hmm, now what was that piece of evidence again? All right, I think I get what I meant to do. All right, let's have this proof then. Maggie was there with the phone. So, and she's a police officer. It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. God damn it. Hang on. Hang on a second. Oh. Right. There's a phone booth right in front of where he died. That was it. My bad. I was thinking a little too stupidly about that. She ran off. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. Of the crime scene photo? Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic of looking at it, something is wrong with you! No! It's... it's a phone booth! That is correct. All it had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Oh! You're starting to look very suspicious, my good sir. Order! Order! Oh, come on! Well, what is this? Those are putting the crime a little late proof of the defense! Objection. He had time, you idiot! The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes! That's the reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony! Yes, that is very true! What do you have to save yourself, witness? Yeah, good luck sneaking your way out of this one. And I bet this phone really is his, Nick! He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back! But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm, but if he wasn't looking for a cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else? Was he? Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer explanations as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Hmm. Seeing as this story started to sound kind of bogus, I have a theory. There's only one possible explanation. What would that be? All right, let's hear the explanation. However, before more than your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before we present, Mr. Wright. Is it penalized? Penalized works too. Yes, Your Honor. All right. I probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. Please present to the court the one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention something about the court proceedings. Notice that life bar up there. With the life bar, now basically you get penalized on different severities based on when you did something wrong. So instead of just having a life system, now you, instead of having like a certain number of mistakes you can make, now it's actually like the severity of your penalties for getting more obvious things wrong will punish you. So be careful about that. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? I wonder. Maybe it's because she was a policewoman? Perhaps that's the evidence you need to be convinced. Uh-oh. Perhaps? Uh, <laughs> this was just an idea I thought I'd throw out. You idiot! I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. Yes, of course, Your Honor. Well, then. Before you do, you'll be penalized. Damn it! I was hoping to get away with it. Ouch. Hmm, why didn't the witness call the police right away? Uh... Do I want to go with this? Maybe? Well, I just basically accusing him. Perhaps this is the evidence you need to be convinced. Shit. I'm thinking this wrong. 
Remember, it's been a long time since I played these games, so I'm trying to remember what I'm doing here. Maybe that? Maybe the phone? God damn it! Hmm. I think I'm thinking about this wrong. At least it's giving me time to make more mistakes. Maybe this is... Maybe it's Dustin. God! What do I need to convince you with, Judge? Hmm, hang on. Why did the witness... Why didn't the witness call the police right away? I gotta take that through. Maybe that was why. Maybe. Yep, that was it. God damn, I keep overthinking things. Mr. Wellington. What? Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. It hurts my hands, believe me. These are your glasses, aren't they? How did I forget about that? Oh, wait. Where did you fight? Yeah! I forgot you weren't wearing though. I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. These are yours. And these glasses are, in fact, your own, and yours alone. I think I said that wrong. I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Uh, under the vi victim's body? What an odd place to keep it. Why would you keep it under a dead guy? Order! Order! And now, but wait a second. Hold on. I didn't confess or confirm any anything. Hmm. You didn't yet, did you? You know, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, his bridge grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. What a shame. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. That was what I needed. God damn it. I gotta stop overthinking this. But Mr. Wright, are you are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Of course I am. That's precisely what I am doing. <laughs> Uh, I love this piece of music. It's real intense. I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. It turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. Deep six? I'll sing him in one shot. Yeah, this is so exciting watching you work again. Oh, yeah. I forgot. She left last game. Somehow my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. A dangerous knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order! Order! Oh, come on! Order, the defense! The defense is making a mockery of this court! With an ace on crowd to stand on, he accused the witness of being the murderer! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Th that's right! Uh, I know criminal! Th th this third rate run of a lawyer! I have heard that before. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer! Wait, well, that's. that's easy! Um, uh. For example, there's um, the name of the victim group. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, you an idiot. But you can be that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, 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 wouldn't they mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would that person know her name was Maggie or Maggie? Now, that's a good point. The witness didn't even know Miss Birds before the trial. Ah, I forgot. Was there any way the creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Oh yeah, they made a call. Right. I gotta remember because I actually nearly lost all my lives here. It would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How will the witness have known the defendant's name? She got in contact with the owner, but they never showed up. That's why. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why you? How did you? Because that's what common sense people do. You know how these questions how they do it? Yeah, they do, actually. Overruled. God, you are awful in obstructions. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think that there's some relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone to the park. And, and, she also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. That's right. Yeah, I remember she went over that call with me. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. Bring me up, I can give this back. 
I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. That's right. She call she told him her name during the call. It was when you learned that her name was Maggie. But you only heard it. Uh, um, me. but you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. The client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. I may as well refer it that way. This is a mistake that can only occur if you all you knew was how her name sounded. Eek! Now we're getting somewhere. You're definitely guilty, buddy. Order! Order! But, but, Your Honor! His witness has no motive! And your point is? It's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. As well, you had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm, Mr. Wright, Your Honor. Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Yep. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... I'm bluffing again! No, the police on the court, to the court, proof that the witness had a motive! We do have this names list that, could, that was linked to his phone, so... Miss Walton's motive is right here! What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You, you looked up all those numbers? No, the other KKK members will be mad. Well, what? Of course. Wait, so they're not even con artists. <coughs> anyway, this list of phone numbers are stored in the cell phone's memory. The names of numbers belong to people who are members of a certain con artist group. You know, in a way, they are con artists, now I think about it. Oh, what? C -c con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? Th this, this is an outrage. It invades your privacy. Like if the phone numbers on a person's phone is a worse crime than murder. You're one of those people. You're like how you read the real This is one of Jesus working for the goddess of Shut up already! I don't care! I don't care! Really, Mr. Wellington! All I want is for you to tell us about what this list is about! You think you, any of you know what it's like to become a refined man such as me? So you con your way through life? Your Honor, th this is this is unjustified badgering the witness! Objection overruled! This is clearly justified, you idiot! Mr. Wright! What is the meaning of this? Why were the witnesses of the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't it obvious? The witness is... A victim of that group, I wish. It's pretty obvious. We have to see him as a bad guy, so Mr. Welch is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends. Phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No! This is too much! Ooh, he had a mini freak out there for a little bit. Ah, oh, we're getting close now. Hmm, that does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I, um, I... I got you now. I, I, that, I, that police officer... Objection! Hmm, a police officer? Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this is... This is just right back the witness! Shut up about that! You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago! B -b 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 please Please, let's think about the content of that phone call! Really? Um, hello? Oh, thank you, I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. The lady already promised that she would return the phone! After that, all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back! Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm, that is a valid point. What does the defense think about this? Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. And maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah. If we think like that, let's see. Maybe that slimeball saw something of the crime scene that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm. Well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Yeah, I think I know what it is. The, they are police. The policeman and policewoman, after all. Well, Mr. Wright, what was this something that didn't agree with the witness? Since he is grouped up with con artists, having a policeman there would be bad, wouldn't it? What Mr. Wilkins just saw was the victim. The, the, the victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh! That's right. The image is there to help you with that. The girl that picked up my phone is with a policeman. 
He couldn't have known they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the police may be able to ask a few questions before returning the phone. If they do anything to this he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible they had already run a check on his on the phone. Any words will panic, is what you're saying? Yep, exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Man, what a shame. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking. Hmm. It seems the truth has come out at last. You can't lie your way on this one, Payne. The witness, Mr. Wellington, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Impressive. Now, baby, we the third rate education. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence! Evidence! Oh, this guy is really creeping me out! Oh, even waving around and telling you that it's that suspicious cell phone. It's where's his phone number this, or business card group that. They're on that phone. Who's to say the phone is really mine? Where's your proof? Your evidence! Ah! You want proof that this phone is yours? <laughs> I already told you earlier that when I lost, I already found it! You don't even have the slightest idea who the phone your hand belongs to! But you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton! What? I didn't think about that! Oh, you moron! <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm! Hmm, we do seem to have a problem in our hands with this phone. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Yeah, your honor! This is bad, I can't let him turn the tables on me like this! Hmm, this cell phone. There has to be something I'm over I've overlooked. There's got to be! Hmm, maybe. We already looked at the stored numbers, so maybe fingerprints? I got it! We checked for fingerprints! Fingerprints? Yes, Your Honor! Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone! Nick, don't you remember? We got there Maggie you wiped it off! I what? You said there was sand all over it, so... Wiped it! I wiped it pretty thoroughly, too! <laughs> Damn it! I fucked myself over! It's so so much fun watching third rate trash and babble like morons amongst themselves. Ah! He's made a complete recovery! How many times do I have to say this? I thought it's right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can't check the number store on this phone. You wiped it, didn't you, you con artist bastard? You must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You've got to be joking! He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence! Mr. Wellington. What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too much! And of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Hmm. I wonder about that. I wonder. I, I, oh my, now I remember! Finally, I remembered everything! Took you long enough. You heard the phone ring. Huh, looks like they hung up. Ah, uh, good. I finally found it! You came and frickin' knocked me in the head of that fire extinguisher, you bum! But let me just present that in a nice, fashionable way. So that's when... Don't worry, I remember all right. What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but... If you don't do something quick, he's going to get off scot-free! In the end, it won't even matter! God damn it! I know! I know this phone has to be his! But how am I supposed to prove something like that? Now I remember everything! Mr. Wright! If you're gonna prove who the owner of that cell phone is, the indictment has no basis and therefore no power! It looks like you came up a penny short! Where? Where did I go wrong? I know the answer is, let me get to it, please! Don't blame yourself, you're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? The court of my college cross-examination! Hehehe. <laughs> there we are. I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I have a reservation at that ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. I need your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit! What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go with that? Screw that! I'm objecting! Come on! Please wait, your honor! Why can't you guys just accept defeat already? All oh, right, Nick! I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. 
With one move? Your Honor! The cross examination has already ended! Besides, the defense is just going to pass the witnesses for eight questions! You will not arrest the witness! Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Man, getting rid of my weapons. You hear that? No harassment allowed, Mr. Attorney. Come on! Please, Your Honor! Oh, very well! But this is your last chance, Mr. Wright! You may present one piece of evidence to the court! I only get one shot at this! If we cannot prove everything, it's over! For your clients, and for you! Do you fully understand? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, come on! I didn't even get to say it! I'm sure you're well aware, Your Honor, but the cross examination period has ended! Shut the hell up! Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence! Ow! Oh. Hell no, Mr. Wright, it's your last chance! By the way, they added instant, instant fail moments like this. So if you get something like this wrong, you lose automatically. So be very careful with these. It all comes down to this. It's go time! Who's got the one piece of evidence that will explain everything? Oh no, maybe not. I know eventually there is a point where you have things where if you get it wrong once, you lose the case. How about the business card? Why, thank you. How, how nice. Here, please have one of mine. Cool, I got the Justice business card. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Isn't the time to be exchanging business cards? Your Honor, there's something very important about that card. And that is the back of the card. Damn it. The card is very important because of what's on the back. Mm -hmm. You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Huh? Right now? The court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. You and your stupid little, your pink strap with it. Is the defense prepared something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Of all the idiotic stupid things to... Hmm, that sounds like my ringtone. Odd! Ah! Why is it coming from you? What? Why is my phone? It was with this stupid sounding ringtone! Ha ha ha! Mr. Wellington? <sighs> hmm, how strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone! Y you're. Ah! No, 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 no! It can't. By the way, who I forget? Thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning! I don't think I need to explain any further, except to say... When you went to retrieve yourself, you specifically took the WRONG ONE! Ha <laughs> Dude, you are choking yourself to death now! I bid thee farewell! You dumbass! <sighs> so that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. Yeah, he is a man who lives on his pride and self image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. Hmm. And, and Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding? Yep. It's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. That explains the weird ringtone. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Ah, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Not guilty! I meant not not guilty! Uh, Judge. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to extend it a little longer. That is all, this court's adjourned. You're the one who wanted these to be simple. Don't make it worse, asshole. Well, there we go. Our first trial's done. We have saved policewoman Maggie Bird. I knew that really you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me, sir. I'm so happy to see you happy. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Your whole life? It can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell on the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, Failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. Oh my god! My life has been really nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh... That is pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. And then, in the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. 
Wee, luckless! What swears is that my misfortune always seems to latch onto those around me. What do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. Ah, that's right. We were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently, too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand, and before I knew it, we were having dinner at my house. What the hell? Oh! What a very forward old lady! I'm sure... I'm sure that dust has gone because of me. That's not true! That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see! And it's all my fault! Dustin's death, your head being all messed up? Uh, well, I don't think my head is all that messed up yet. It's fine now. I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. The next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. You bet! I'm gonna make it! I promise! Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess! Y yeah, that's the spirit! Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you! Thanks. You take care of yourselves, too. Bye, Maggie. Good luck with yourself. <sighs> what a horrible day. I've gotten my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask. But here it goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back! Yeah, I wonder about that. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. Ah, there we go. Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had classes with in the past during certain cases. But he's also been a good ally during others. Yeah, like the last two, I remember. The Judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who's easily swayed by other people's opinions. But in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. As long as you do it right, of course. Hmm. This person I haven't got a clue. Oh, come on! He seems to know me, but maybe he's mistaking me for someone else. I had a feeling I wouldn't remember him. And this girl. Maya? You... you finally remembered! This is Maya Faye. My assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories about her. For example... By the way... She's of age now! It's legal! Oh god, don't look at it that way. Earth to Nick! What's wrong? You keep staring at me! Don't tell me you've missed me! Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now! So it's time for us to create new memories together! Oh, right, sounds good. You make it sound really creepy that way. Well, the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick, let's go to our usual burger joint! Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since you came back into my life. Yeah. And that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Guess what case is going to be coming up next? That one. So, yeah, they introduce you to everybody, including Maya, coming back. Because if you don't remember, at the end of the previous game, she left to go finish her spirit medium training. And the next trial will be going over us meeting back up with her for real. So yep, we're going over one trial and then going to the past this time. An interesting direction, if you ask me. I like they decided to change the way that worked, instead of just going in order like that. But yep, very simple case. We just proved Maggie was innocent. From an asshole, a douchebag who wanted to try to get away from being caught with con artists. What a douche. Either way, damn it, that was a long episode. I couldn't find a good point to want to stop in the middle of it. I'm sorry. I'll try better for the next part. It'll probably be a little easier later on. But at least there's nothing as long or as bad as the final case in the last game. That one is like the worst case of the whole series, you ask me. It, it's a good case, but it drags on forever. Either way, well, this episode here. We have saved a, a police woman. Now we got to go over exactly, well, how I met up with Maya Faye once again. So come back next time. We'll start our next turnabout, which is... Involving a reunion as well. So we meet up with somebody and then a murder happens. Yeah, in case you don't remember, every single one of these freaking cases is a murder. So yeah, just get used to that. This game certainly loves its share of murder.